Hi everybody, it's Goody Parade and today I have the three new Monster High Brand Boo students. I'm super excited that they're finally here. I have, I think it's pronounced EC Dawn Dancer, Batsy Claro, and I think it's pronounced Kirsty Trollson. You guys can tell me if I'm saying it wrong and help me out a little. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you've seen these yet, but I have been really excited. Okay, she's the one I have most anticipated, although the other ones look really pretty too. That is EC Dawn Dancer, and she looks like a deer because she is the daughter of a deer spirit. So she has a lot of Native American uh, marks on her, and she has a dream catcher purse. Uh, she has antlers on her headband, and I do believe we'll have to uh, get her out to see, but her toes are kind of like hooves instead of toes. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see here's the uh, side of her box looking gorgeous monster high here's her back art which oh my gosh pretty so I won't read everything you can pause and read this if you want but um, I always just go to the pets and her pet says the birds of the air and beasts of the field are all my friends I would not want to cause jealousy by picking one over the other and as you may well know most Monster High dolls now don't come with pets. Bummer. Uh, and here's the other two pictured in the series. And we're going to open those too. So let's get her out. We'll start with her. Ooh, she's looking pretty. <laughs> Okay, she is out. Well, before, let's just look at the background here. It looks like it's the lockers at Monster High and the little coffin-shaped lockers there. Ooh, and a pretty little uh, dream catcher and deer image down there. Okay, I am always careful when I open those because I save them to make stuff, as you may know already. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Wowie kazowie. I'm just going to say this might be my favorite monster high doll that's come out in a really long time look at her super long hair wow that's beautiful kind of a turquoise teal blue greenish oh my gosh look at her face it is beautiful look at the way the details the way it's painted she has little dots like bambi on her and uh, the purple over her eyes and this coming down on her nose i mean maybe the most beautiful monster high ever maybe cute little ears she has a little earring on this side and I love the antler headband there is no way I'm gonna take that off because I want to display her just like this oh no is her hair messed up please no please no hair messed up okay that looks pretty easy oh wow just look at her she has oh there's a little uh, dream catcher hanging from her headband and she has a necklace that I believe looks uh, a lot like the Wave 1 Claudine doll. And then she has this adorable little blouse. It has kind of bell sleeves and really cool little Native American-ish pattern. She has matching bracelets on both wrists, a blue and a, a red. Some might call that green. I don't know. I'm going to call it blue or teal. And look at her handbag. Is that adorbs or what? got a spider web dream catcher with feathers what a good idea just put a little spider web spin on the whole dream catcher idea I wonder if that's where uh, dream catchers got their inspiration because uh, I know Native Americans pretty much got all of their beliefs from nature and earth look at her oh my gosh did you see that <gasps> oh okay I thought it was pants and a blouse, but it's a bodysuit. Okay, that means I'm going to go ahead and take off her purse so I can take off her blouse because we're going to have to have a look at that. So she does have Velcro on the back. 
like most Monster High clothes. Oh no, am I not gonna? It has bell sleeves. Come on, get over those bracelets so I don't have to take them off. Okay, that worked. Oh my gosh, how cute. Wow, I really appreciate this. They didn't have to do a bodysuit because you can't see it underneath, but look at that. And it has a little back of the neck fastener. Oh, that is adorbs. And it's for, oh, look, and you can see the little, I didn't even notice that at first glance. They're little skullettes. It looks like tribal uh, patterns and they form little skullettes. Oh my gosh, she is amazing. Okay, the time has come. Look at these boots. Look at them. Fringe. The fringe kind of reminds me of Viperine. But of course, this doll uh, is going to, uh, she's kind of reflecting a Native American culture fringe. Wow, and look, even in her heels, there's like imprints of the uh, te texture of the Native American designs. Little spiderweb dream catchers on her toes. So cute. Oh, and yes, look at her toes. They do look like little hooves, if you can see that. <sighs> oh my, she is amazing. Amazing, look at that hair. Okay, so she came with a stand. I always like that. It's one of my favorite things that Monster High does is give their doll stands. Because then it makes them really easy to display nicely. And those high heels, woo, she's gonna be way up there. Okay, I'm gonna bend her arm so she can hold her adorable handbag. And while I'm at it, we can get a better look at it too. It does have like a little beige goldish outline and it looks like it snaps open so you can put some stuff in there. And let's just put it on her little wrist here if we can. We have here but Batsy Claro and she is the daughter of the white vampire bat. I have never heard of a white vampire bat so I'm really enjoying this new concept for me. Now I do believe she's from the rainforest uh, so she's got a little bit of a tropical vibe going on. Let's see pet perish the thought. No, she wouldn't have a pet. I guess she'd probably eat it. <laughs> She's a vampire bat. I don't know. Look at that artwork. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And if you look at her, my gosh, she has like a little, uh, almost looks like a little bat on her forehead. And this beautiful green, reminds me of grass, like grassy thatched headband and these beautiful pierced wings. And I love the little ruffle on her blouse that goes off the shoulder. Looks like she's got shorts on. I sure hope they're shorts because that's really short. And the boots. Okay, the boots look amazing. I cannot wait to get those out. And here is her little handbag. So, oh gosh, before I go on with her, this is um, ECIC's uh, journal. So I'll just give it a Flip in case anybody wants to kind of stop and attempt to read it. <laughs> I know some of you do that. And I always go to the back where the pet, but um, we already read that on the back of the box. So there you go. Okay, Miss Branboo Batsy Claro, we're going to get you out right now. Looking gorgeous. And again, she's got the lockers on the back. Oh, wow. She is pretty. Okay, so I don't forget, I'm just going to show you. Oops. Batsy Claro's uh, journal. What does it say? I have a hang up about monsters reading my diary. Well, don't we all? I always think it's interesting. Uh, their signature, their writing. They all, the Monster High team really detail this by making all the characters have different personalities and different signatures, which I think is cool. 
And, oh, she's not into having a pet. Of course. All right, back to her. Wow. Whoa, look at that hair. That's like Mountain Dew colored hair right there in the white. I wonder if it would glow under a black light. That would be really kind of cool, actually. It's kind of silky, kind of angely hairy. And then let's see. Look at those wings. Very tribal looking. Kind of reminds me of uh, tribal tattoos. Oh, and she's got some really neat earrings on. And her lip, upper lip is green and the lower one is yellow. And she has this very looking tribal, very tribal looking paint on her face, it looks like. And there's that bat symbol. I guess that's what this is. Little bat symbol. I love that. I love bats. And then we've got that green thatched look there. And there's that adorable little off the shoulder little ruffle. I love that. That is so cute. And it looks like... Wow, this has got a rubber band on it because there's like some ruffles hanging down here. Let me get that off. Off. Yes, her outfit is a little bodysuit, a little shorts bodysuit. That is super cute, which I imagine, yep, it's Velcro's in the back and it goes below her wings. So there's room for that. So you could put her on a Rochelle. <laughs> and then she has this cute little, little bat symbol here little ruffles here kind of reminds me of a jellyfish and all of those kind of grassy symbols in there and then are you ready wow those are amazing amazing wow they're kind of spiked on the bottom here and then they are woven together up here I mean those are beautiful I think um, Venus might want to borrow them sometime huh well, she is looking pretty gorgeous. Are you guys liking one more? Oops, her wing fell off. Oops, we can't have that. Well, that could be a problem. Sometimes that happens. But I do like that they're removable. That's certainly a good thing. In case you just want to get them out of your way or put a different outfit on her that doesn't accommodate wings. Okay, let's put her in her doll stand. And then I'm going to look at her cute little purse here real quick before we uh, move on to our final Kirstie Trollson, which I think looks a lot cuter than even the pictures online. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh, also, I guess I should tell you guys, I found these on Amazon.com. That's where I found them. I'm not sure if they're selling them anywhere else yet, but that is where I found them first. So she can go back there and oh here's her cute little bag and yeah I guess it is kind of a grassy looking bat symbol almost and then of course this is kind of a coffin shape let's see and it opens I love it when the handbags actually function so let's give her her handbag to hold there we go mama you can hold that gorgeous girl oh I don't want to break your fingers off right Okay, and there she is. Okay, guys, that means last but not least, we have Miss Kirstie Trollson. Again, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but that's the best I can do with that crazy spelling right there. She is daughter of a troll. Well, she sure is adorable for having uh, trolls for parents. <laughs> I love this metallic uh, skirt on her, and she has like a digitized looking... Uh, image on her t-shirt and same with her glasses reminds me of like vintage video games which if you look at her picture here she does have a little joystick video game set in her hand so that must be her thing I love this little like viking looking knit hat that is so cute she is really pretty I was not expecting her to be that pretty from the uh, pictures online and she's got purple shoes on. Look at this purse. It's like in the shape of a video game uh, handset controller. I guess that's the word we're looking for. Okay, there's her artwork on the side. And there's her gorgeous face on the back. And Pet, would it be weird if I said my video game console? So she wants a video game console as her pet. <laughs> so she'd probably do good with a virtual pet. All right, let's get her out already, huh? 
also, you know, I'm just going to talk through this one instead of fast forward. I try to save all of my artwork because it's so beautiful. And later you can cut and glue and make a giant collage or all kinds of things. So I really try to preserve my box. So I'm going to show you guys how I open a box to make sure to preserve it. So all around the edges are these little tabs and they're kind of clear and they poke into this cardboard thing. So you just carefully carefully pull those little tabs out and if you go around and carefully do them one at a time by the time you do them all and at the top here um, sometimes you just have to go a little slow to make sure you don't rip the cardboard but if you go around all the edges and pull out all the little clear tabs like there's one did I do oh here's one more then you should be able to just lift off the clear plastic off the front Okay, <laughs> like that. And then it reveals her looking gorgeous. I always say this is a really pretty way to display them just like this because you can see them so much better, but they're still in this cute little pose. So anyway, this cardboard only has two pieces of tape on it. And so the first thing I do, they're at the top where it tapes the cardboard together. I just give a snip here and I give a snip here and that opens the whole thing. As you will see, there's this piece down here that's tucked in and you just untuck it and the whole thing should fold out like this. So there you have it, Your whole, all, the whole thing in one piece that you can save and do whatever you want to. I pull the uh, journal out and then the only thing I do on the back here is I, I always just cut off these little tabs, which are the ones that, um, are attached to their head because it's they're the hardest to pull out from the front so that's how I do that and then I just flip it over and I just cut all the little little ties that are tying their hands and feet and hair and stands and pretty soon it all just kind of falls out Sometimes the hair is tied down with like these clear elastics and you sometimes you can pull it right out but if I can I just try and cut those little rubber bands so that I don't damage the back or I don't like pull a curl out of her hair or something if she has kind of fancy hair. Okay see that? So I did the whole thing all in one piece looking perfect. And ta-da! Kirstie Trollson. At least I think that's how you say it. <laughs> For sure, for sure. Okay, let's get a look at this girl. My gosh, she's awesome. Look at the colors. I love the colors. So the first thing we cannot ignore is this gorgeous knit. It's made to look knit, all oh, it's plastic. Viking uh, horn hat there. And she has these digital looking glasses. I'm not gonna take them off, but I'll try and give you a peek of her pretty face underneath. Oh, if you look at her eyeballs, they even have that you know, vintage video game kind of almost uh, Minecrafty looking. And she's pink. Oh my gosh, look at her ears. She totally has troll ears. And uh, the earring looks like it's a skull with like a Viking hat on it. Wow, look at those ears. <laughs> those are the biggest ears I've ever seen. Oh, and here's her glasses kind of okay. Let's look at her hair. She has ponytails or pigtails, depending on what you want to call it. And it's blue and lavender, purple, woven together with a little part in the back. And then her adorable shirt with the video game-ish looking thing right here. And then, let's see, yep, it's two separate pieces. She has this skirt, again, looking kind of Minecraft, vintage video, with this beautiful metallic uh, sh uh, fuchsia, I'm going to say. <laughs> And then look at her purse. It's a video game controller. That is so adorable. Let me see if I can pull it off and we can, does it open? It looks like it has a little zipper on it. That's cute. I think it opens sideways. Maybe not. Because there's the hinge. So are we going to open files or not? Ugh. Okay. I can't open it. I'll try in a minute. Or I don't really want to ruin it. So maybe not. So she's little. I can tell she's little. She's on a little sister, although she might not be somebody's little sister. They call this the little sister body that are the smaller dolls. 
and she's got adorable little shoes with socks so she could share clothes with Twyla and Howleen really well because they're both little too. She's got a little black bracelet here and let's just go ahead and look at how tall she is compared to IC here. Oh, EC. Gosh, I really wish I knew how to say that. And here you can see how much taller the other one is. So let's see. We have to have a quick look at her journal here. Cute writing. Printing, not handwriting. And, oh, I did her. She wants her pet to be her video game console. So <laughs> we'll let her do that. All right, let's get her on her stand so we can look at these three brand boo students to Monster High. I am loving them. I've got to say, I think Icy's my first favorite and Kirstie's my second and then uh, Batsy. Although I like them all, I really do. Let me just, let me just give this one more try. What do you, oh, I don't know. Maybe not. Ugh. No. Okay. You guys let me know if you could get yours open and I'll open mine then, but I don't want to risk breaking it right now. So I'm going to skip it. All right. Let's put that on her wrist and then let's get a final look at these three gorgeous gals. And you guys let me know which one's your favorite. So cool. I love it when there's new characters. That's just my ultimate favorite. That's what I for sure collect are the first uh, releases our first image of the characters. Okay, everybody, please subscribe and thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.